Hello everyone. Welcome to the most interesting subject that is geology. Let us today discuss about what are the different branches of geology and how it is important to civil engineering. We have many subtopics in chapter 1. Let us see one by one detailly. So our first topic generally deals with introduction and physical geology. Coming to the 1.1, it deals with the branches of geology which are useful to the civil engineering. So let us see briefly how and how and what are the branches of civil engineering which are useful. Okay. So before going into the introduction, first we should understand what is the word geology mean. So basically the word geology is derived from the Greek where geo means earth. Okay. Where geo. Geo means earth. Okay. And what is logos? Logos means science. When you put these words together, it becomes earth science. So basically, geology is a branch of science which mainly deals with the study of the earth. Hence, it is also known as earth science. Okay, it is also known as earth science. So I have repeated because of your reference. Here we will also study about the different features like about the whole earth. Okay. Please note the points. We will study in this subject about the whole earth. And also we will study its origin. And we will study about its structure. Its structure. Okay. And also we will study about its composition also. And also about its history and how it is formed, everything. So this is a very interesting subject which we are going to deal with. So it is a very fascinating subject because it feels like this subject will make us feel the pulse of the earth. Our own earth which we are living on. And we are going to know about it. It sounds very interesting, right? Yes. So here, the people who contribute their life or their study towards the subject are known as geologists. They contribute their part to the nation. How? By discovering new deposits of earth like rock and minerals and which will increase the economic value of the country. Here, when you identify a particular material or the particular rock in a particular region, so these people will do various testers whether that rock or mineral is useful or not. So, or whether it is valuable or not. So, these people will contribute their life or they contribute their work towards the economic development of a country. But we have many minerals and rocks which are present underneath the earth, okay, or underneath the surface of the earth. But each and every rock or mineral is not that valuable or not that uh, very important. So these people will tell us whether that rock is important or not, okay. So this study is very much important. Coming to the various branches, we have large branches or large number of branches like uh, Physical geology followed by crystallography, okay, again followed by mineralogy, coming to petrology, next one is structural geology, the next one is stratigraphy, paleontology, historical geology, economic geology, mining geology, civil engineering geology, hydrology. Indian geology, resources geology, and photogeology. We have all these different type of branches where we are going to learn about each and every branch and how they are important to civil engineering in the upcoming slides. So, coming to the first branch that is physical geology. Here, this is a branch of geology which mainly deals with the various processes of the physical agents. What are physical agents? The physical agents will be wind, water, glaciers and sea waves. 
so here we have to understand how these physical agents are affecting the surface of the earth or beneath the surface of the earth and how they are modifying the surface of the earth continuously okay here one of the important point you have to note is this physical geology will include the study of erosion transportation and deposition okay let me repeat physical geology include the following okay the study of first one is erosion what is the second one transportation the third one deposition okay these are the three different study which are very much interesting and also important this is also known as epd process this is a cyclic process first erosion will occur next transportation will occur next deposition will occur again this is what will record i mean it will start restart after deposition again erosion will occur transportation will occur and deposition occur hence this is a cyclic process and very much important in the modification of the surface of the earth and one has to study about this to understand the geology very perfectly let us see why the study of geology physical geology is playing a vital role in the civil engineering okay why it is important because let me tell you the first point it reveals the it reveals the constructive and destructive processes of the physical agent physical agents at a particular site or place let me repeat because the study of physical geology is very important because it is going to reveal the constructive and also the destructive processes of these physical agents which we have studied earlier at a particular site or place it is also important because it helps in selecting a suitable site physically chemically and mechanical to a particular project okay let me repeat it helps in selecting a suitable site okay suitable site physically chemically and mechanically so it will help us to know in selecting a suitable site physically chemically and mechanically how these agents are going to affect the surface of the earth so it is very important so what is the next branch the second branch is crystallography we have to understand that this is a branch of geology it mainly study of the crystal but what we know from the basic definition we know that a crystal is nothing but a regular polyhedral form which is bounded by the smooth surfaces how it is bounded is which is bounded with the smooth surfaces okay so uh, sometimes it is not that much important to civil engineering but the minerals which we have to understand and we have to recognize whether that particular mineral is important or not necessary or not for that thing we have to understand or we have to have a little knowledge about this crystal okay coming to the next branch that is mineralogy what do you mean by mineralogy so it is a branch of geology which mainly deals with the study of the mineral the word itself will have mineral ology which will study about the minerals 
again going into the basic definition what do you mean by a mineral a mineral is nothing but which is defined as a naturally occurring how it will occur natural also it is homogeneous solid how it is okay homogeneous solid and also it is inorganically formed this is more important also how it is having a definite chemical composition and also ordered atomic arrangement also we have to understand why the study of mineralogy is most important for the following reasons what is the first reason to identify a rock okay to identify a rock also important for industries okay also in the production of atomic energy also in the production of atomic energy these are the three points which you have to remember okay it is most important to study or to identify a particular rock also it is important for many industries also in the production of atomic energy coming to the next branch that is petrology petrology is nothing but the study of the rock okay what are the different rocks like igneous sedimentary and metamorphic rocks we basically know that the rocks are differentiated in three types that is igneous sedimentary and metamorphic okay first so a civil engineering basic quality should be if you see any rock you have to understand whether that rock comes from which variety igneous sedimentary or metamorphic hence this petrology is very important so again going into the basic definition what do you mean by rock it is nothing but the aggregation of the minerals which are mainly found in the earth crust we know right this earth crust mantle and core here in this region these are generally formed okay here the study of petrology is most important for the civil engineers because it helps a civil engineer to select a suitable rock for different projects like building stones roads metals etc so this branch is very important coming to the next branch that is structural geology what do you mean by structural geology it is a branch of geology which mainly deals with the study of structures which are mainly found in the rocks see you can see here there are different structures which are formed okay in the rock again these are the different uh, structures which are mainly formed by the epd process that is erosion transportation and deposition hence the structure is variedly formed so this epd process see how it is uh, differentiating a rock in different structures so epd process is very important this branch is also known as tectonic geology or simply tectonics okay also this structural geology is an arrangement of rocks which are mainly playing a very important role in civil engineering for what for the selection of the suitable sites like for all the projects like dams it is for all multinational projects like dams tunnels multi storied building etc these are all multinational projects multinational projects mnps okay so these are very important coming to the next branch that is stratigraphy what do you mean by stratigraphy it is nothing but a branch of geology it deals with the study of stratified rocks and their correlation stratified is layers and how each and every layer is correlated this study is mainly important to study sedimentary rocks and layered rocks let me repeat the study is important to study sedimentary rocks 
and layered volcanite rock. Okay. Layered volcanic rocks or stratified rock means layers. Okay. So coming to the next branch that is paleontology. Paleontology is nothing but fossils. Here we are going to study about the fossils. It is a branch of geology which mainly deals with the study of the fossils. And also how the ancient remains of plants and animals are referred. These are nothing but the fossils which are uh, plants and animals, remains of the plants and animals thousands, hundred years ago. And how they got deposited, how they got evaluated. Here we will study about their evolution, how they evolved, migration, etc. Here we will also study with the help of these things about the climate of a particular region. How was the climate, how is the climate and how will be the climate. Past, present and future. So this branch is very important and more interesting. Coming to the next branch that is historical geology. What do you mean by this branch? It is nothing but the combination of both stratigraphy and paleontology. It is a combination of one or more branches. It is also useful to know about the different features of land and seas. Let me repeat the different features of land and seas okay. and climate. Okay. And also different evolution. Of different lives. Coming to the next branch that is economic geology. This is a branch of geology which mainly deals with the study of minerals, rocks and also the materials which will increase the economic value of a country like coal and petroleum. You understand how costly these both are. So this branch is also very important. Coming to the next branch that is mining geology. This is a branch of geology which mainly helps us to study of application of geology to mining economics. Like which place has to be mined, okay? Because we can't uh, randomly mine at any place. We have to understand the properties of a particular place for mining. In such a way that the selection of suitable sites for quarrying and mining are determined, okay? Because these are economically extracted, these are economically extracted. Because that is a very costly process. It's a very costly process. So one has to be very careful in selecting the site for a mining. Okay. What is the next branch? Next branch is civil engineering, geology. It is a branch of geology mainly deals with all the geological problems which arise in the field of civil engineering along with the suitable treatment. That is most important. Problem plus solution. Okay. Problem plus their solution. So thus it will include the construction of dams, tunnels, mountain roads building stones and old metals like all the MNCs, like multinational projects and their problems along with the solution. Coming to the next branch that is hydrology. What do you mean by hydrology? It is a branch of geology which mainly deals with the study of both the quality, okay, the quality and quantity of the water. Which are mainly present in the rocks in different states. Here, the water is present in the rocks in different states or different conditions. First, you have to understand what are those different conditions. What is the first one? Atmospheric water. Okay. Atmospheric water. Surface water. And 
underground water. Okay, these are the different conditions of the water which are mainly present. And here in this branch lecture, we are going to understand about these different states of water. What is the next branch? It is Indian geology. It is nothing but the branch of geology. It deals with the our motherland in connection with coal or petroleum, also physiography, stratigraphy, and the economic mineral of India. It or it is a combination of one or more branches. Combination of one or more branches. Okay. What is the next branch? It is resources engineering. Here it is a branch of geology which mainly deals with the study of water, land, solar energy, minerals, forest, etc., which mainly fulfill the human wants. Okay, so this branch is also very important because every resource is very important for our existence. Land, for example, land. Okay, soil, water, also renewable energy. Okay, also the atmosphere, atmosphere and biological resources. So these are all important things which we have to understand. Okay. What is the next branch? It is a photogeology. What do you mean by photogeology? It is nothing but a branch of geology which mainly deals with the study of aerial photographs. Aerial means what? In the air. Okay. In the air. At a particular distance. How it is used to take the photographs? It, we also have one more definition. Nothing but. Let me repeat. It is the study of physical structures, physical structures of the earth by interpreting. Photographs taken from a particular height. Okay. So let me repeat it is also the study of physical structures of the earth by interpreting the photographs which are mainly taken by a particular height. Hence, it is known as aerial photograph. Okay. So uh, we are going to analyze these photographs which we are going to get. From these photogeology, and which we are going to understand about the geology, like what are the resources on the surface of the earth, how they are interrelated to each other, and every other thing. What is the next thing that is important of geology for civil engineering? So, how this geology is important for civil engineering? What is the role of geology in this subject? Mainly to understand the features of the earth and how it is useful. Okay. So, what is the first thing you have to understand? We will get a systematic knowledge of the construction materials and the structures and also the properties. Let me repeat. What we understand, we get we get systematic knowledge. Okay, what we get? We get systematic knowledge of the construction materials. Of the construction materials, their structure, their structure, and their properties. Okay, what is the second point you have to understand? It is used to analyze the ETD process. What is ETD process mark? Erosion, 
ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड डिपोजिशन प्रोसेस ओके विच विल हेल्प अस टू अंडरस्टैंड वेरियस थिंग्स लाइक सॉइल ओके लाइक सॉइल कंजर्वेशन हाउ द सॉइल इज कंजर्वेटेड also the river control how we control the river and coastal and harbor work coastal and harbor work so these are the different things which we are going to get the knowledge by studying this subject also we get about the tunneling construction roads and stability of cut tunneling road work cut work etc and also what we come to know we also come to know about the dams bridges and building Okay, what is the fourth point, ma? Dams, bridges, and buildings. Okay. What is the fifth point? Also, we come to know knowledge of groundwater. Okay, ground water. also geological map in planning different projects okay we also come to know about the geological map for planning different projects we also come to know about falls join bed and the solution what are the problems these are all the problem creating them and also we'll come to know about the solution hence this branch is very important for a civil engineer okay again what is the scope coming to the scope we have a wide scope like we can know the safe and stable and economic design what is the first scope by this subject we will understand what is the safe stable and economic design if you take any civil engineering project like dams roads bridges etc and we can also understand the strength of material and theory of structure okay what are the different subjects you can understand strength of material and theory of structures here you can understand about the various subjects like strength of materials and theory of structures also you can understand about the planning designing and construction of major civil engineering projects okay you can understand about the planning designing and construction of various civil engineering projects okay so the subject is very important not only this we will also understand the safe design in terms of construction okay safe design in terms of construction okay water resource development 
water resource development and town and regional planning town and regional planning of a particular site or whatever you take okay can also be done with the help of this subject so hence we have a wide scope to know about the subject and to study about the subject thank you